Alright everyone, hello! What is up? The Loganators here, and welcome back to another DCS World video. Today we are in the F5 Tiger II with uh, two Sidewinder missiles on the wings there, as well as our auto cannon. You can just kind of see the um, hatches there opening up for the cannon shells, I believe that's for. I'm not too sure the whole technical aspect of those, but uh, if any of you guys know, let me know down in the comments. I'm pretty new to DCS World, well, I mean, I got about like 50 hours or something in it, but there's still a lot I need to learn and I'm off and on with DCS World, so I forget things quite easily. So if I'm doing anything wrong, give me a holler in the comments and tell me what I'm doing wrong so I don't make that mistake again. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys can appreciate that. So um, yeah, I'm in the F5, it's going to be all live commentary, and uh, hopefully I can take this other F5 down in a 1v1 dogfight. Let's go to Afterburner here. Alright, let me lock them up. Missiles are working, that's good. We have a lock. I believe he's heading towards us. I think we're getting locked up here. I, I can't tell. Whoa! Well, there he goes. Let's turn our plane around here. All right, we're gonna pull some hard juice here. Guy on the verge of blacking out. That's good tone, that's Fox 2, come on. Whoa, he was firing at us. The guy by wrong, the wrong button bound for my Fox, uh, my Mad Mesa launch. I think it's my other button. Alright, that's interesting. Alright, let's pull up here really hard, really hard. There we go, we're gonna push this plane. Alright, we're on him. Let's get a missile locked up. There we go, that's an AIM-9PS away. Come on, let's find a smart, find a smart. Boom! Splash one! Mission success. That was pretty easy. Fortunately, we didn't use our guns. Let's go over to an SU-33 dogfight and let's uh, use our guns for that. Alright, here we are in the SU-33. We have an F-14 Tomcat in front of us. We're going to need to take this thing out. It's not going to be an easy task, though. We've got a missile primed, but we're just going to go guns this time. Let's make this thing happen, shall we? Alright, here he comes. I need to adjust my trim on this, but I'm not too sure how I do that. Because I feel like this pitches up way too easily. Did I flaps it forward or something? There we go. Flaps are not deployed, that's good. There it goes. Engines are struggling. There we go, we're locked up. Let's get some speed back here. There he is, we got our lead indicator here. He's on afterburner as well. Alright. Let's get that lead indicator right on him. Woo, those were close, those were close. Ah, this F-14 doesn't stand a chance, does he? Whoa, just took off his right wing there. Yeah, they are ejecting for sure. We'll send a missile this way just for the lulls. There we go, missile away. <laughs> That's a bit of an overkill right there. Boom, band it down. This is a little too easy now, is it? Let's go find another dogfight game. Um, just a 1v1 and we'll see what we can do. Alright, instead of doing another 1v1 dogfight, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to be doing a carrier landing in the SU-33. So, um, yeah, here we are. Let's uh, look at the carrier here. There it is. Alright, we're going to take this nice and slow. 
this pitch down here. One thing I've noticed with this plane is, even though I try and adjust this pitch as much as possible, I'm having a real tough time with the trip because it just wants to pitch up. This is, I'm not even doing any input right now, and you can just see how much it just likes to pitch up. And uh, the trim doesn't seem to be really working. So that's kind of weird. If you have this problem, let me know. I'm doing left contr uh, right control um, semicolon, and it's not doing anything. Anyways, let's get our brakes out, because we were coming in a little too steep right now. A little too hot. Not coming in too steep, actually. We need to get some more altitude. Let's play landing flaps and gear. We're also going to do for a uh, tail hook as well. Looks good. All right, retract that uh, brake. And we'll get our throttle up again. There we go, beautiful. Yeah, let's get our speed back, because we are going pretty slow. There we go, we need more speed here. More speed, just coming into the Russian fleet here. Look at that, beautiful. Okay. like we're on course. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Speed's a little high. We're gonna bring that down. There's a destroyer or a cruiser or whatever that is on the left. Come on. Keep that speed bandaged here. We have a tail hook down. We do have a tail hook down. That's good. Coming in a little too high. Getting a radar beep. That's what that is. Okay. We're on course. Yeah, we need to lift up a little bit. Alright, this is it. Final approach. Coming in a little too steep here. Come on. Full throttle. And we're caught. Not a beautiful landing at all, but, uh, hey, we made it. We open the canopy here and take a look outside. There we go, I might get loud. Get a helicopter out there. Well, we did it, there you go. Oh, uh, not the gear. Oh, yeah, I think I, we got the gear stuck. It's left alt G for the tail hook. Whoops. Yeah, our gear looking a little worse for wear. But hey, we made it. We didn't manage to take out those SU-33s uh, on the side there, or the helicopter, so I call that a win. Well, I think that's going to be the conclusion for the video, guys. So uh, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more DCS World. So thank you all for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.